Welcome back, y'all. Today I'm making this video starting off my uh, my journey here. My journey into a water fast. Uh, one of the most highly disciplined fasts you could possibly do. I just want to do this video to show you guys what it is that I do to do this, um, how I keep my mind together to do this because it's a very, uh, it's a very uh, mental game you have to play here. Uh, so you have to be strong, you know, as people were programmed to eat certain things, to, um, to be traditionally fed we're fed we are fed by tradition um, and our tradition has taught us to you know fall off the uh, the track of the universe I would say um, so we're all out here eating the wrong things doing the wrong thing so I just want to show the uh, all the aspects of this um, and lead by example uh, just to show you you know what happened so this is day one of my water fast I've been a transitioning vegan I would say for the last year um, I plan to cut off uh, fish because sometimes I eat fish still but I, I want to cut that off uh, after this water fast and go completely plant-based um, and also show you my journey with that as well so, uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, that's where we're at today. 168. All right. Day one. I also want to point out um, <clears throat> when doing this fast they say that it's it's uh, pretty important that you don't do much activity we're going to see what's t what's with that theory because I, I don't believe that you're just supposed to be an idol you know idle at all times um, the body needs to be in motion every day so uh, with the supplements I have taking um, I think that you know I'll be able to have all the minerals I need every day to produce energy for myself and I have enough stored fat to produce energy for myself so keep that in mind <laughs> Thank you. 
it's about 12 30. um just got done working out playing ball at the gym here as you can see i was fucking niggas up on the regular um but yeah um felt pretty good i don't really eat till around four or seven or four to seven every day so uh that's just because of my intermittent fasting so i don't think i'll feel any hunger pains until till around four so i usually have a smoothie after the gym not gonna do that <sighs> so we'll see how this goes man throughout the rest of the day but so far so good no pains great workout today as always um and yeah we'll see about tomorrow i think tomorrow's gonna be tougher here we are day two we survived past day one here, we're, here we are with our second day of breakfast here <laughs> right mom yeah everyone thinks you think i'm crazy for doing this right no i don't i've done it myself <laughs> so why would i think you're crazy how i get this information off of my books here you can order these on amazon about 18 bucks gives you two books i call these my bible because this is real real stuff here this is real information <laughs> okay all that other stuff we've been reading and been taught falsified calcified information written from people with calcified penile glands how can you study a, a, a food pyramid from people that have never constructed a pyramid in their entire lives, in their entire lineage of being in existence? But that's a whole nother conversation. Top of the morning. Top of the morning activities. Today I feel kind of floaty, kind of like my head's in the clouds. It's kind of like my body's asking itself, asking my mind, are you, are we really doing this thing? Um, but yeah, I feel, feel pretty good. I'm going to go to the gym here in a bit, um, get a good workout in, see how that goes. Yesterday went all right, but today we'll see. tough working out um super exhausted but um pulled through it could barely move i mean i just i tried to move but everything was literally in slow motion like i like everything's heavy my arms are heavy my feet are heavy my legs are heavy everything so uh let's see how heavy i am day two One sixty three, sixty two point six. Okay, I was one sixty eight point three or something. First day, dropped six pounds. We're doing good so far, y'all. Just gotta keep it up because I'm feeling really lethargic, y'all. 
really lazy, but let's keep it up, y'all. Gotta keep going. Yeah. Day two. Night. I'm so exhausted, y'all. Like, I think I just did way too much today. Like, after the gym, I was there for like an hour, maybe two hours, playing basketball. I shouldn't have did that because now I'm regretting it. And then after that, I had video shoots, an interview. It was just doing too much. Yeah, I was praying that tomorrow was better for me because this is hell. Like, this is ultimate hell. They, they say day three, and usually I've done this before in day three, and day four, that's, that's when the hunger pains subside, kind of, and we'll see how it goes. Day three tomorrow, man. A sacrifice, man. But the reward is, is at the end of the journey for me. And, but yeah, we'll keep y'all posted tomorrow when I wake up. Day three, water fast. Um, I feel really good today. Uh, I slept. I didn't really sleep too much last night. I kept going up, getting up, going to the bathroom throughout my sleep, which was just the most annoying shit ever. Like going going to the bathroom like five times, three to five times while you're you know half awake is not the most pleasurable experience uh but uh that's what's happening you know um let's see what else i did have a lot of hunger pains yesterday obviously you've seen that but today i just i woke up with less of a fog less of a floaty feeling and uh a little bit more energy, but a lot of hunger pains still early on in the morning. Um, but yeah, so that's this morning. I'm not going to the gym this morning because yesterday when I went to the gym, I overdid it. You know that that was way too much, and I don't. I got things going on today. I can't. I can't afford to be super tired today, but, um, you know, <clears throat> shit's crazy, y'all. Shit's mad crazy, like, I can't believe I made it this far, and it's making me push forward even more, because I've done fast before, and usually after the third day, those hunger pains will subside, and you get way more energy, so I'm just feeling like the little spurts here and there of energy. And um, still hunger pains. Hopefully, I don't have a migraine today. But we'll see how it goes, man. All right, this is day four. Day four, I ended my fast. Well, technically, day at the end of day three, we uh, I got way too lightheaded. Worked out at the gym way too much. Too much high intensity training. Too much high intensity cardio. And uh, I felt like I was going to faint day three at the end of day three. I felt very low, like my electrolytes were depleted. You know, there was still fat in my body being burned, but that wasn't enough. So I would never recommend playing basketball and weight training while fasting. That's probably the worst thing you could probably do while trying to fast. But I did make it, you know, three days. That's 72 hours of fasting. And that really rejuvenated me I feel I feel like it restarted a lot of things and detoxified a lot so today I'm gonna have a smoothie a, a sea moss smoothie I'm gonna weigh in my final weigh in eight pounds eight pounds y'all